Guys, if you are looking for the whack a troll quest, usually you'd want to look for patches of ground with a blue girl, blue glow on top of a patch of ground, and then this will signify that a very high chance there will be a whack a troll, just because of this large amount of space. And keep in mind. The Wacker Troll only needs about this much space, so if you can pinpoint a blue glow, go there, and if the blue glow has around this much space around it, it will be a Wacker Troll. I can guarantee you that. It won't... It Right here as well, if there was a blue glow there, there would be a Wacker Troll. If there were no trees here and no stone, there would be a Wacker Troll. You don't find Wacker Trolls in... In, in pitted areas like here. You need to find a flat surface like this one that has a decently sized area that will that would fit a Wacker Troll spawn. So right, guys, this will be like another Wacker Troll spot. As you can see the dark patch designates it. Also because you can pretty much guesstimate the uh, overall space that is uh, given to you or rather provided for the Wacker Troll to come up so that's how you can find them you usually they'd be like right here on these dark patches if this siphon wasn't there it'd be there sometimes they're in this little one zone and then uh, I also had one up here, I think. Yeah, right. Up. Right over here, I had one. Dark patch. Just gotta use the eyes, that's all. Alright. My name is Jess. Hope you all have a great day. And I am out. Here's another one. Yep. Bye. And here is another one. Yep. Dark patch and discoloration. You should always use your pickaxe though because when you shoot, you do less damage to it. Because you look at the stars and you want that stun activation thing. And that's about it. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this video, found it educational. Please enjoy your days in Fortnite, save the world like I have. Peace.